Okay, so this worksheet that I made for you, La Révision de lundi, is a review of what we did today, uh, which is Monday, while you were gone. So um, we talked about devoir, to have to, vouloir, to want, and pouvoir, to be able to. So under each one of these charts, you have um, three example sentences talking about les joueurs de uh, whatever sport. So you have les joueurs de hockey, les joueurs de basket, and les joueurs de football américain. So uh, we reviewed some vocabulary in regards to sports for the activity that we did today. And one of the words that we reviewed was jouer, which is the verb to play. Um, and then les joueurs are les personnes qui jouent. So if jouer is to play and les joueurs are les personnes qui jouent, then they are probably the players. Okay. So there's that. Um, and anyway, so we talked about hockey and basketball because those are the sports of this season where football américain was from last season. So you have three sentences using doivent, so the third person plural form of to have to. So hockey players, basketball players, and football players doivent, so have to do something. So tirer, we learned about with superheroes, means to shoot. So tirer la rondelle is shoot the hockey puck. So les joueurs de hockey doivent tirer la rondelle. Um, les joueurs de basket doivent lancer le ballon. So basketball players have to launch or throw the basketball. And then les joueurs de football américain doivent bloquer. So they have to block les joueurs de France, the other players. Um, vouloir, you have the conjugations here, and then the same thing, an example sentence with each player. Gagner is to win. Marquer des points is to score points. And arrêter l'autre équipe is to stop the other team. Pouvoir, to be able to, once again, three sentences with each type of player. Peuvent avec, attaquer les autres joueurs. Hockey players can attack other players. It's legally allowed in the game. Merci. Um, and peuvent attraper le ballon, basketball players can uh, catch the ball. And then the joueurs de football américain peuvent pousser les autres personnes. So they can actually push other people and that's okay. So ideally through this activity, each, um, there were three groups and each group came up with example sentences of what uh, hockey players, basketball players, and football players can do, want to do, and uh, have to do. So I've left you two blanks so that you can make your own example sentences. You don't have to use hockey, basketball, or football players. You could do just um, you could just do il and l if you want to. Uh, but today's focus was the plurals for all three of those verbs. Okay. So I've also made you a review for the test that we took in class today. The first part was to be able to describe one of the three sports we were talking about using to be able to, to have to, and to want to. Um, where on this paper that I'm going to share with you, I put jouer is to play, un jeu is a game, and les joueurs are the players. And I'll just share that with you right now um, so that you have it. Okay, so anyway, so I gave you two examples of um, acceptable explanations, both having to do with football, just because we've already done that. Um, and you'll see that they use verbs other than uh, just to be able to, to have to, and to want to. These were just review everything, little paragraphs. Um, the second part is describing yourself using as many words as you can. So I wrote like a little mini thing uh, using you as an example, um, and but you would want to try to add more because you know more about you than I do. So I gave you I like, I am, I have, and I prefer, um, but you could obviously use other things. Um, 
anyways, so none of this is anything you haven't seen already, um, just the exception of the vocabulary as it pertains to hockey and basketball. So if you have any questions during Stern's time tomorrow, um, you're more than welcome to come see me or uh, after school as well.